Hi, kids. We're going to learn the story of Felix Fox. Are you ready? Let's go. Run, 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 barked Felix Fox excitedly to his sister, Phoebe Fox. Felix Fox enjoyed playing with his young sister. Father Fox enjoyed watching his little foxes having such fun. He was fox sitting while Mama Fox went to see a friend. Felix Fox and Phoebe Fox ran in and out in a big open log. Soon, Felix Fox, Phoebe Fox, and Father Fox were sitting in the pond. What fun it was to watch the fluffy yellow ducks floating on the water. There were seven fluffy yellow ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fluffy ducks in the cool pond. Felix Fox and Fifi Fox watched a fat green frog as it jumped off a rock into the water. Felix Fox and Fifi Fox saw a pretty colored fish floating in the water. Father Fox Felix Fox and Phoebe Fox had been asleep. Their furry white-tipped tails had been curled around their soft paws as they had slept on their bed of soft grass and leaves. Suddenly, whack, whack, whack! Father, father, whispered Felix Fox and Phoebe Fox. They were a little bit afraid to hear a strange noise coming from the forest pond. Listen. There's that noise again. Follow me, whispered Father Fox with a big smile. We will find out what is making that whacking noise. So Felix Fox and Phoebe Fox quietly followed Father Fox down the forest path. Be sure to watch out for big holes. If we stay on the forest path, we will all be safe. Then, all of a sudden, help! Father Fox! Felix Fox! Help! called Fifi Fox. I have fallen into a deep hole! Father Fox and Felix Fox worked hard to get Fifi Fox out of the deep hole. So, Father Fox and Felix Fox was thinking of an idea how to pull out Fifi Fox from the deep hole. Hmm. Father Fox and Felix Fox filled the deep hole with small rocks, sticks, and dirt. The hole was not deep anymore. Then Father Fox and Felix Fox was able to help Fifi Fox climb out of the hole. Soon, Fifi Fox was standing safely behind Father Fox and Felix Fox. Oh, thank you, Father Fox and Felix Fox, cried grateful Fifi Fox. Fifi Fox was so happy to be out of the deep hole. Happiness showed on her furry red cheeks. I have such a wise father and a very helpful brother to help me get out of the deep hole, thought Fifi Fox to herself. While I was down in the hole, began Fifi Fox shyly, I was a little bit afraid. But Felix Fox talked to me and helped me not to be afraid. Father Fox said, Felix Fox, you helped so much by talking to Fifi Fox and finding sticks and dirt and small rocks to put into the hole. And then, whack, whack, whack. Huh? We forgot about the strange sound, whispered Felix Fox. We forgot where we were going. Stay close by me, said Father Fox with a twinkle in his eye. Let's get going again. Father Fox, Felix Fox, and Phoebe Fox quietly walked along the forest path. 
Suddenly, Felix Fox was looking at the black mud around the forest pond. Father, Felix Fox whispered, do you see this little footprints? Who or what made them? Asked Felix Fox. Let's just go, whispered Father Fox. I'll show you what made the little footprints in the soft black mud. Father Fox, Felix Fox, and Fifi Fox slipped quietly through the tall forest trees. Father Fox, Felix Fox, and Fifi Fox got closer and closer to the other side of the forest pond. Look, Father, whispered Felix Fox, pointing toward the forest pond. Look at that big pile of brown wooden sticks in the middle of the pond. Shh, warned Father Fox softly. We must be very quiet and very still. Father Fox, Felix Fox, and Fifi Fox stood very, very still. They looked to the right and to the left. Then the wet brown animals climbed up to the steep bank. Drip, drip, the water rolled off the shiny wet brown backs of the animals. Drip, drip, the water fell into the soft black mud. One brown animal seemed to be the leader. All the other animals seemed to follow and obey what the leader was saying. The leader animal waddled to the thin tree, <laughs> chewing at the thin tree. <laughs> the other animals began to follow the leader to the tree. <laughs> The leader animal stopped. He turned his head and saw Father Fox. The wet brown animals started waddling as fast as they could go towards the forest pond. Quick as a flash, the leader animal raised his wide flat tail and flapped it down on top of the water. Whack, 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 whack. One, two, three, four, Five, six brown animals ran as fast as they could go towards the forest pond. They were hurrying toward their home. The animals knew that the whack meant danger might be close by. The leader animal was telling the animals to swim into their house made of wooden sticks. They knew that they should go very, very fast because there could be danger. Those brown furry animals are called beavers, explained Father Fox. The beavers were eating the thin trees for food. What they will not eat, they will gnaw until the thin trees fall down. Then they will use the thin logs to help build a house. Beavers build their houses in the middle of a pond to keep them safe. Beavers use the tree for food and to build a house. Hmm. 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 Now we know what made that strange wacky noise, said Fifi Fox. Let's go home now, little foxes, said Father Fox. Mama Fox should be home now. I can hardly wait to tell Mama Fox what we saw and what happened today, said Felix Fox. It has been a truly exciting day. That's the story of Felix Fox. I hope you enjoyed it, kids. Now, can you answer these comprehension questions?